Joining us here on Real Agriculture once again, we're pleased to welcome Manitoba agriculture entomologist John Givlowski. And uh, John, hearing some reports this year of ligus bugs showing up in wheat fields, which would be quite abnormal, right? Well, ligus have a lot of hosts, and which uh, does include things like uh, wheat and some of the, the grassy plants. Now, we usually associate them more with alfalfa or uh, canola, things with flowers. Sunflowers. Sunflowers may be another one, exactly. Dry beans, even. Uh, and they can be um, pests in all of those if they're at high enough levels. Um, in wheat, we don't really have a threshold. There was a study done here in Manitoba on ligus in wheat, and they were looking at what potential feeding injury they could do and could they be economical. They really concluded that they, they weren't seeing a lot of economical damage, so we don't have a threshold in wheat. But uh, we are seeing more ligus in the wheat this year than we often do. But once again, um, we really don't have a threshold that we can provide for growers, uh, a point where they're going to cause economic injury because the studies that have been done really didn't find them causing economic injury in, in wheat. Okay. I associate them with sunflowers because of, of course, those awful tasting seeds that yes. are the result of, of ligus. Is it a similar effect on wheat? Do they feed on the, the actual kernel on the seed? They will and they can. And in wheat, you would get a little white spot on the seed. Uh, it's not a major downgrading factor, but uh, they can result in a, a little white spot on the seed. Sunflowers, it's a bit different. And sunflowers, uh, you end up with this brown spot on the seed and um, it tastes very bitter. So for confection sunflowers, that's a big deal. You don't want too many bitter tasting seeds uh, in, in your batch. Yeah. Finally then, John, is this an indicator potentially of ligus pressure in other crops that they're spilling over into, into wheat fields, or is, is that reading too much into, this, uh, the, into these findings in wheat fields? Yeah, it's hard to know. There, there certainly are a lot of ligus out there right now. Um, the people have been sweeping in canola and some of the other uh, hosts, I'm not hearing of any big numbers in those crops, so hard to know really why they're they're uh, in the wheat, and yet we're not seeing economic levels at this point in the canola. But certainly something to keep watching. All right, and it will do exactly that. We'll we'll keep on top of it and and talk to you again, John, if if this is something that we should be paying attention to. Thank you. Thank you.